When people think of bases which are difficult to raid in Rust, they usually think of huge clan bases with dedicated farmers who have never seen sunlight in their life. Well, I decided to flip this idea on its head and make a solo base which was mathematically unraidable. How, you may ask? Well, by making it as long as possible. The more squares, the less chance a raider has of hitting the tool cupboard, and the more mathematically unraidable it is. All right. I want to build a base that's basically just a long line of one by ones, but not a straight line of one by ones, just random one by ones I add on as I need to expand, continue on that way sort of thing. I think here's probably a pretty good spot for me. Green card might be difficult, but there's a blue card there and then red card and then launch. That's probably a good spot to go. I hear a horse. Where's the horse? Hello, horse. This is kind of the area I want to build. This valley here, I can wiggle a base through here somewhere. This is not, not a bad area. There's a few bases around to have some fun with. I think we're going to try and build along the bottom of this hill as much as I can. Let's just build it right here. The start of something beautiful. I'm gonna die to a bear. Run, horse! Run! Oh, I got it. Finally, dude. Having the start of my base built, I farmed some metal and got the furnace cooking. Then, I transitioned extremely smoothly into the sponsor of today's video. Rust Clash is an online gambling website, so this one's for all my viewers who are 18 years or older. There's a huge variety of cases that you can choose to open, and the items have a percentage of what you can get. You are able to 1v1 people in case battles with whoever gains the most money wins. As well as this, there's a rain feature, which gives away $20,000 every week. There are daily and weekly leaderboard rewards. The link's in the description for you to go check it out. Thanks Rust Clash for sponsoring this video. I then headed to the lighthouse to go and get a green card. Surely this lighthouse is a green card. Oh, it is here. Okay. I might head straight to the harbor. Let's get out of here. We'll run across the coast to the harbor and try and get a blue straight away. Oh, dude, this is a big base here. Oh, we got to be careful. Oh, it's a huge base, dude. So they're probably dominating water treatment, obviously. So I don't know if we'll go there for our red card. Uh-oh, that man is looking at me and I'm assuming he has a gun. He must live in that big base, dude. If he has a bow, I'll fight him. But I'm assuming he doesn't. <laughs> I'm so dead. Damn it, dude. And now I got no fucking cloth for a bow. Fuck. There's a supermarket other side of Outpost that I'll go try and see if there's a green card there, but I highly doubt it because people are going to be running in and out of Outpost all the time. Hit the tree. that he's got a bag dude he's gonna have a bag if there's ever time to stand up he probably lives so close dude stand up come on he's gonna do it he's gonna stand up we gotta manifest it come on he's gonna stand up he's gonna stand up right guys guys he's gonna stand up i'm gonna stand up i'm gonna stand up it's gonna happen i'm gonna stand up I'm gonna pick my bow up and i'm gonna get him when he comes back i'm gonna stand up it's gonna happen there's my bow right there all i gotta do is stand up and i'll pick it up and i'll kill him fuck it was a bit of a slow start. I went on a run to find more cloth and got a little sidetracked. I literally need 50 cloths now again to get a bow.
Unlooted. This could be dumb, but also could be a revolver. Someone just killed themselves right here. No, dude, and it just died to full damage because I fell through the floor. Oh my god, the roof camping saw. I literally get revolver kid, can't pick up revolver because I can't see anything, and then roof camping saw kills me, and I fall through the floor when I'm down and die from fall damage. I managed to complete my first successful run and recycled an outpost for enough to craft a level one workbench. I then upgraded to a few metal doors, then found something that indicated my luck might be turning around. Okay, to the lighthouse. Uh, what the f- Hello? Uh, I think our luck's turning. I have no idea what that was, but... He had a blue card? Oh my god, dude. Uh, let's actually go down to this lighthouse now. No green card. Alright, I'll just run the road up the right-hand side and then cut across the supermarket here. Please be farming. Yes, this is what I need, dude. I'll head to our uh, outpost recycle this. I need 200 crude oil to buy this level two workbench. 200 crude oil for a level two workbench. That's what I want to get before I get off. I'm going to go to airfield and try and get some crude oil barrels. No other reason than crude oil barrels because we need 200 crude and then we can get a level two. Now, I could go hell risky and run to launch site as well and get the crude oil barrels there. But that would be extra risky. Probably result in my death. I have 50 at home. I need 150 more. Okay, we're definitely going home now. This is a good run if I can get home. Okay, this guy just got unfortunate and I jumped onto him. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? 180 crude. We need 20 more. I'm really scared someone's going to buy that level 2 before I do. I need one more. Nice. Um, okay. It's okay, man. I just want to see what you have, okay? He had nothing. Uh-oh. Let's get out of here. Oh my god! Please, man, I did nothing. Please, I didn't mean it. They didn't find it, dude. Oh, shit, that's him. It's the same kid. Oh, shit. No, that would have been it, dude. I was hoping he was going to be low. Oh, that's so annoying. No! Someone bought it, dude. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Is 80 high qual for a level 2 workbench worth it? Is it worth it? It doesn't really feel worth it, dude. I could wait till tomorrow and see if anyone else has put up shops. I decided I would wait until tomorrow before upgrading workbenches in the hopes that someone would be selling it for cheaper. 
For now, it was time to add some length to my base. So I got to farming and did some extensions. All right, let's uh, expand off this side. Oh my god, would get me out there. There was a Tommy. Oh my. Oh no. Did he even see me just then or is he tunnel visioned as fuck? No, he definitely saw me. Bruh. There's two here, but I, they're, they're creeping up on him, dude. I don't they notice him first. My whole game just froze. My whole game just froze. My whole game just froze. My whole game just literally just stopped. LR. Still grub a gun from this fight. He AKs! Oh my. This could be big. Oh, shoot at him, sir. Shoot at him. I need him to get dropped by the LF eight times, dude. Dude, so much is going on here. I need this Tommy to die. This is ideal if this Tommy dies here. This Sar is about to kill the Tommy. Are they together? Is this Sar and Tommy together? He's legging it with loot, dude. I reckon I can clean up a gun from this. again my whole game freezes every time i pick up a gun dude oh my god dude Those guns shouldn't be found. He just ran straight over it. There's no way he didn't see it. Look at all the nakeds! No! Come on, after all of this, dude, there's no way I don't get out with a gun. I dropped two MP5s at different trees. I don't know whether that was the play or not, but that's the play I made. Okay, the first one I'm pretty sure wasn't there. The pinned tree, there wasn't an MP5 under it. And that guy was standing right next to it, so...
Two for two, baby. Two for two. That's better than nothing. We could have probably gotten more from that, but I'll take it, dude. Come on, give me something good. That's something good. That's something good. Why was there a guy there with 280 scrap? This fighting continued for a little bit longer, but I didn't get anything out of it. I did, however, try my best to explain what was happening with this fight. See if you can follow along. So this base here is Team A. The base there is Team B. Team B actually lives over there. Team A lives there. When there was a fighting going on before between Team A and Team B, Team B built that base just off on the whim and then just to store shit that was in the area. Team A then raided it back. Now Team B is now raiding it back back. I don't know who the Nakeds are, but they're here and I'm all for it. There must be some good shit in there if they're raiding it back. After farming a bit of upkeep, I was off for the night. Sleeping comfortably, knowing no one would be dumb enough to raid my base. I wanted to use the MP5 kits as soon as possible, but first I wanted to research the medical syringe and ammo. Before all of that though, we did a bit more farming and extended the base a little bit further. Oh, is there any shops with level twos? Cause I didn't buy one yesterday. There's a garage door. Uh, level two workbenches anywhere? Come on, one base has got to have a level two workbench. I can buy an AK for 3.5K sulfur, but no level two workbench, which is really annoying. I'm going to get a green card before I use the MP5 because then I can go airfield. I headed to the lighthouse to find a green card and with no luck there, then considered taking the MP5 kit out anyway before realizing I needed a level two for medical syringes. So I headed to the satellites where I died to a three man, then looted the entirety of airfield and got the scrap that I needed before dying on the way home to a double barrel kid who I didn't even have to fight. So I decided to do what I do best and headed down the train tunnels to try and make up the scrap there. There is people here. Okay, these guys are gone. Okay, they're clearing out this section here. What are they taking it out with? Bows? I killed one. I thirsted him. I hit the wall. One hit. He can't run down that way because of the scientists. Two hits. Come on. He was on five. Oh, got him. What? They got nothing. Come on, dude. I thought they were going to be stacked. This guy's got to have it all. They did not have nearly as much as I thought they would. Now, do I go back to Outpost or do I go up here at Airfield and run home? I think I go up here at Airfield and run home because Outpost is always cooked. All right, let's go and recycle. I got the scrap home and crafted a level two. But before I began rolling with the MP5s, I wanted to once again do some farming to extend to my base.
Oh, please, man. Come on. So sad. Fuck me, it takes a bit of stone, doesn't it? <laughs> That's all we got for now. The snake base lengthens. Now, this is the one and only MP5 that I can take out. I do have another MP5, but I don't want to lose it. I had two MP5s. However, I could only really afford to lose one in case I needed the other one at base for an emergency. This meant that I had to convert this one MP5 into multiple more guns. Ideally, a Thompson, as then I could research and craft more. Okay. Tommy's what I need, dude. I need to go to this. What? Good finishing shots. If I get shot up right now, then these guys are going to come out from this base, which is not good. He literally was creeping up the hill that I was on. He thinks I'm still up there, so we should be in the clear here. As long as no one else rocks up. It was worth just running, bro. Worth just running. I'll go back with the MP5. There he is. Oh my goodness gracious me. Damn it, dude. That was the easy kill, dude. How do I mess up the easy kill? Oh. I may have lost the second fight, but I did secure the Thompson. So I researched it along with the hollow site and headed to the train tunnels to get some more SMG bodies as well as some scrap. My goal was to tech tree to satchels so I could do some raids, but I needed more scrap for that as well as a raid target. For once, I was actually successful in my hunt for SMG bodies and returned home with three. Then I heard some shooting not too far away and went to investigate. Free Tommy? I got no idea where he is. Oh, this base is online. Maybe this is where the Tommy kid is. I literally just made noise. No, dude. Nearly got the 2k. Why did I go for fucking... Why did I go for the hip fire, dude? I did a bit more farming, a bit more expanding of the snake, then headed to the lighthouse to find a green card so I could run airfield for the rest of the scrap that I needed to get satchel. Lighthouse, of course, didn't have a green card, but I noticed someone was selling some of the vending machine not too far away from my base, so I headed over. Oh, shit. Get a compound bow, I'm pretty sure. Why was that oh. such a scary fight? I'm 
dead. Oh my god. Really, bro? Is it is it not even accessible by drone, dude? It's not even accessible by drone. Oh, that's such a bait, bro. We'll go to that. I didn't need a lot of scrap to get the satchel, so I took what I could afford to recycle to the outpost and grinded it up. I also noticed another shop selling green cards, so I bought one while I was there. Then, I ran to the airfield to get the remaining scrap that I needed. Uh, well, there's a scrap we needed from Eleanor here. I'm going to still do cards because I don't think Eleanor would have done cards. Come on, don't be looted. Wall would be nice. The wall would be nice. The wall would be nice! Dude, what? I don't even know how that didn't wall just then. Dude, I had so much on me, man. Someone's getting attacked by a bear? Let me up there, let me up there. It's not gonna let me up there. Oh, dude, why are these cliffs so cooked? Oh my fucking god, the cliffs in this game, bro. I only needed a little bit more scrap before I could get to raiding, but it was getting quite late for me. So I hopped off and got back on the next day, heading straight towards the satellites for the scrap that I needed. And I've got no meds. That's two dead. The bear just saved me there, dude. Okay, well, we'll go home and come back. Jack have my farmer outside now? I'll go. Well, he's dead. Where does Sar go? Oh my god, all the way down here. I finally had the scrap to tech tree to the satchels, and now all I had to do was some farming and smelting. While farming the sulfur, I also farmed stone and expanded the base for the last time. <laughs> Look at it, dude. The snake base continues. With the base in its final form, I crafted up a lot of satchels and figured out who I was going to use them on. I'm just thinking, do I raid the base that was having that fight? 
when I grubbed the MP5s. I could raid that base. I was planning on raiding that other 2x2. Two two. We can probably do both, actually. We have, like, more than 20 satchels. I'm thinking maybe we try and raid this. Because I did have that fight. But I don't know if they got rinse from it or not. So if I hit this roof right here, I'll definitely get TC. I reckon we hit this and the other 2x2. Two two. So the plan was to raid this base, as well as the other 2x2 two two with the duo in it that I camped earlier. However, nothing's ever that simple. I was on a time crunch, so I had to get it done fast. And there was also a huge base which had popped up overnight, which was online and not too far away. I also only had one more Thompson to spare before I was out of weapons to fight with. So I made a backup kit ready for the worst case scenario. Ah, oh, and to top it all off, the patrol helicopter also decided to join the party. Heli's out, that's kind of annoying, but whatever. We'll send it. Not sure if that big base is online. I don't see any torches in it right now. I don't see any weapon flashlights in it, so hopefully that's a good sign. I think they went on the right square. Oh, these guys are going to be trying to take heli, dude. Oh my god, this is not good. That was a quick one. Oh my god, dude. The heli, I couldn't hear anything, bro. No, my bag's got a timer still. The bag I set up to get back quickly still has a timer, dude. I should have waited till daytime. I shouldn't have done it when the heli was out. All the things should have, could have, would have, didn't. Oh my god. Oh my god. This has gone to shit so quickly. This is my last Tommy. This is like literally my last stand. They've got that covered, dude. Oh, they got a bolty there as well. Oh my god, I'm so pinned, dude. I'm just gonna run it. I'm gonna depot and go to that body naked. Oh, I'm dead. And that's it. I don't have any more Tommies. I've got satchels there that I'm just going to throw on a base. I've got to get off in like 15 minutes, dude. I don't have time. Why did Heli have to come at that exact time, dude? It would have been like kind of fine if I didn't have to rush right now. But I've literally... I've got to go out in like 15 minutes, dude. And I can't play after this. So we're kind of just sending it. And uh, if you want to see what sending it is, this is sending it. This is what's going to happen. I'm going to blow the wall. There's going to be a sleeper who's got a kit on him. Pick up his kit. Defend the counters. He's going to be quick. There was AK guys on that rock before. Seven. How many duds? Eight. One dud out of ten. That's pretty good. Where's the kit that I was needing? 
Where's the- Oh my god, no. Oh no. Well, that didn't go to plan at all. We did a raid. It was a successful raid, all right? And there she is. The snake base. From there to there. Definitely a cool experiment. And that was the end of the mathematically unraidable base. If you enjoyed this video, you'll definitely like this one too, where I lived in a base on top of one of the rocks in the desert.